There's no amount of talent, energy, and work that can make a bad question work well. And right now, we're surrounded by the absolute necessity and hunger for new framings, different perspectives. We actually spend more time designing the question before we start designing the building. So most of our projects are projects that we've invented. It has to do with how you can build it before and how you make sure that the appropriation exists afterward to make sure that in the end, the built work is one part of a much larger cultural, political presence and not just concrete and mortar. We try to propose projects that are incarnation of necessities. We only do something if we consider it's absolutely necessary. And that means finding a relationship to the materiality, to the social organization, to the political framework, and to make something beautiful out of it. Each one has to be a response to a necessity. The question of sustainability, the fact that we're all human, the fact that there's very little water, that the climate is changing, should not push us to a global generic solutionism. So we're advocating for a global toolbox for extraordinarily local resolutions. We all have similar issues, but the resolutions are different. Most of the people in this century will live in cities that still have not yet built. We're trying to answer the question of what it could mean. Our relationship to infrastructure should be something that is managed as a community and not managed from a distance so that the communities are defined in their dimension and place with however much the land can give. This infrastructure becomes visible. In Venice, you go into any campo and you see the well, a big well in the middle. That well is designed for that particular neighborhood. The dimension of the neighborhood is based on the amount of people that can use that amount of water. It's visible and it's dimension for community. Most of the infrastructure we use is underground. The management of uh, water is done from far. If you live right now in Los Angeles, if you open your tap water, it comes from 600 kilometers away in places that have no more water. So there, there are infrastructures and cities that make no sense. They're designed, they're desirable, but they're not sustainable. Let's live together in ways in which we can understand how much the land, physically under our ground, can sustain us. And let's make sure that the management of that is something where we all participate. And once you essentially shrink back the perimeters of how we manage our action on the environment, it will change, in my view, how we will live together.